All right, let's now move on to uh, race number eight. Uh, we get into uh, the treble. It's a class four, 1800 metres. And of course, uh, we are again on the turf for the final three races, in fact. Let's have a look at the, uh, the setup of this race. Now, Red Elise is a real honest campaigner. He doesn't win out of turn, but he's rarely far away. Dynamic Eagles drawn the outside barrier. Claim for you have my word. Bring it on's a last start winner. Amazing Agility's drawn 10 when ordinary last start. Down to Golden Kid, who's drawn well. Matthew Chadwick knows him well. Two rides for a win and a second. Happy Rocky still racing with enthusiasm. Jing Jing King has the blinkers first time, but he does need to lift. And Investor Boom drawn gate nine for Matthew Poon. Now, from Chun Fa's perspective, uh, Poaching Treasure has been able to get away from the hustle and bustle and spent some time at Chun Fa recently and he is in solid form. Looking at Jin Jin King leading here with the blinkers first time. He did that in the trial. He led throughout and he did win that trial. Dynamic Eagles drawn wide, so Zach Purton will try and get a, a comfy sit with him. Potentially one off the fence in front of Poaching Treasure, who has been able to lead in his last couple. He did uh, lead and win uh, two runs ago. Poaching Treasure, Golden Kid, bring it on, who won nicely as well last time out. He's drawn wide. He's another one that does like to race handy. Here is Red Elise. He's been really honest this season and things haven't gone his way all the time. He's been beaten on the bob a couple of times as well. Uh, 1800 looks ideal and Keith Young's giving him a nice workout down the back straight here and the horse uh, goes well and Keith will ride him on race day. You have my word, he goes uh, fluently here. Uh, Victor Wong will take seven pounds off him. He's a winner two starts ago at Shards and backed it up with a nice third behind Smart Baby which looks quite good form at the moment. So a horse in form. And uh, amazing agility. He just took off here from King's Heroism uh, and it was a nice piece of work from him as well. And uh, he's another horse who's uh, working well, just needs to bring it to the racetrack. I thought he actually ran well two starts ago. I gave him a little chance last outing, but um, he failed to flatter. Maybe he can uh, atone. We'll have to wait and see. This is an open race, I think it's fair to say, guys, on paper. There looks a number of chances, a number of horses that have been racing well. You have my word, certainly one of them. So is Bring It On, Red Elise and Golden Kid uh, right in the uh, mix last start. Yeah, this was You Have My Word to win uh, a couple of runs ago. Um, Bring It On uh, came out and uh, has won since then. Um, I wasn't fussed with his recent trial, but you can see Duggan, uh, Duggan deep here. This was course and distance. I'd give him another chance again. Yeah, he's up a little bit in weight. I've, I've got the other two in, actually. Um, I think uh, Red Elise will, will run well once again. He's pretty honest, and from barrier four, he'll get a nice run. And uh, you have my words, been in good form. Yeah, we saw that there, performance from Bring It On. As Tom mentioned, he came out and won at his most recent start over the 2000. He actually is a winner without penalty. He carried 131 on this occasion. He'll carry 131 again. He had gate six here. He's got 12 to deal with on Sunday. I thought it was an excellent ride by uh, Sylvester de Souza last time out. He had the 1-1 one, one, uh, run um, hands and heels over the final stages as well, even though in this uh, tight finish he was pretty confident of being able to throw him over the line here. Yeah, he see, did, yeah. Just see their rider screen, the head of amazing agility. Like it I was probably a little bit harsh. It was still a decent enough effort. He just couldn't get into it late. But he may be one, as Paul highlighted in track work, that uh, could be ready to improve. We're going to go to Golden Kid now and to Happy Valley. As you can see by the... The races we're previewing here, they do race against each other a lot, these horses. Dynamic Eagle, last start, went to the front and just overcooked. You can see him leading at this stage, but he's swallowed. Yeah, he's still a maiden uh, from his 16 starts and he's got barrier 14. He's come up favourite as well, so look, I, I haven't got him in. Um, have Does I he get a in? softer lead here, Tom, from the 14? I think Joe will roll forward and just gradually try and work over and it might be a little bit more suitable for him. Yeah, there's, there's a few Jin others Jin that Jin like King. to go forward in this. Um, you're looking at, uh, well, Jin Jin King, who we're going to see in this trial, uh, roll yeah. forward and uh, he's wearing the blinkers uh, for the first time, so that could sharpen him up because he does need to show a bit more. Yeah, he needs to. He hasn't done a great deal. I thought, um, well, we all know he was quite an expensive purchase from the ISG, but... Um, He's got to find a little bit. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm giving him a chance, though. He's, his um, blinkers have really sharpened him up, and I like this trial. He hit the line really strongly in it. His track work's been really good since as well. So uh, barrier three, I think he's going to get a good run. I think he's going to get his opportunity. 
He's at around 15 at the moment, 15 and 5 for a place. I'm just happy to watch him go around this time. Yeah, yeah I'm a bit the same. I think this is a, a race where you could certainly uh, throw up a number of cases for a number of horses. Who'd you settle on, Paul? Uh, with the red Lisa, I think he'll get the best run in the race from Barrier 4, and he's a very consistent horse. Uh, Jing Jing King is on the improved, there's no doubt about that. So we'll give him a chance with blinkers on for the first time. That trial was pretty good, uh, and he did run a nice third a few starts ago behind winning controller. Barrier three for him. You have my word from the inside draw. And another one with a lightweight, Le Panache, one we haven't talked about. He's been pretty consistent this season as well. One, 13, three and 12, as you mentioned, uh, it's quite open, so I did go exotics. I'm going to go here with the four, and that is uh, Bring It On from a wide stall, but uh, he doesn't really have to take any penalty round this time, uh, Bring It On. He had a nice run last time out, hands and heels over the final stages from Sylvester de Souza. So another chance for him. You Have My Word goes in. 12 Lure Panache has been racing well, just hasn't been able to strike that killer blow. And two Dynamic Eagle. 4, 3, 12 and 2. Little Ichi Way on Golden Kid for me. I think it's a tough race, uh, race number eight. We've got two really good races coming up uh, to preview shortly. On the other side of this break, races nine and ten.